I'm Sabina Alkair and I lead the Oxford Poverty and Human Development Initiative, which is a research center in the University of Oxford. Um, and we focus on looking at poverty in the way that poor people understand it in its many dimensions, but then trying to come up with rigorous method, methods of measuring that poverty. We do two different kinds of activities in terms of multidimensional poverty measurement. One is to use existing household surveys that are in the public domain and are nationally representative in developing countries, mostly demographic and health surveys, multiple indicator cluster surveys, and sometimes uh, national surveys. And we use these to construct internationally comparable measures of multidimensional poverty, which look at dimensions like health, education, and living standard. And what's different about them is that they look at each person and if somebody in the household is malnourished, if somebody has lost a child, if somebody is not attending school who's a child, and if no adult has five years of schooling, and then water, sanitation, electricity, flooring, assets, um, and those kind of living standard variables. And if a person is deprived in enough of these at the same time, we identify them as poor. And then we are able to construct measures that you can compare across countries for now 110 countries. Um, and to make comparisons over time, to go within countries, to look subnationally, and we cover over 800 subnational units of, of these countries. So it's an exercise in trying to understand how many different things go wrong for poor people at the same time, and how we can somehow give policymakers an easy to understand number that they can pull apart in a way that helps them coordinate their own policies to match the realities of poor people. Well, we are data hungry and we, we love data, but we also love learning. So I think the two things that I've taken away, one is um, uh, we are experimenting with the use of environmental data with bringing together environmental and poverty analyses. Um, and that's our sort of entree into some of the satellite data imagery and, and other data sources. But it's a growing edge for us. And so it's an area where we are actively experimenting, not yet using it for policy, but doing academic research and uh, exploratory work. Um, in co collaboration with others and we met a lot of people here that we hope to be able to be in contact with as that sort of field building area um, expands. And the second thing is that we need our numbers to be understood by not only policymakers who may not love numbers but also by the public, by press, by opinion leaders, grandmothers. And so getting other ideas about how people take numbers and make them interesting, exciting, compelling. It's part of when you work on poverty, you really want the numbers to carry the message that energizes real people who don't love numbers to do the real work. And so that's, again, learning from other people's experiences, something I really do take away from this exchange.